Hi guys, in this video we're going to talk about vitamin B1 in diabetes, okay? So people that are a diabetic type 1 or type 2 are severely deficient in vitamin B1. In fact, pre-diabetes, like insulin resistance, uh, those cases are, are also very deficient in vitamin B1 because vitamin B1 is the main cofactor, like the helper vitamin, for the enzymes related to carbohydrate and glucose metabolism. It's involved with glucose and sugar. Uh, it supports the myelin sheath. That's the outer sheath around the nervous system. So when your sugar is too high and you don't have enough B1 because it gets depleted and it gets altered, you can't absorb it as much, then you start losing this sheath or protective lining around the nerve. Then you start to notice the tingling in your feet, pain, burning, and the fingertips and that's the loss of myelin because the B1 is not there to protect the nerves and build the nerves. B1 supports the inside of your arteries, that little lining called the endothelium. So if you don't have B1, you have all sorts of damage in the artery wall, which can, then could lead to a cholesterol buildup, a clot, a stroke, and cardiopathy, which is basically just heart disease. So B1 supports the nerves in the eye, especially the retina. That is why so many diabetics have problems with vision. A vitamin B1 deficiency will also create edema, or that's swelling around your ankles and your feet, and even swelling around the eyes. A B1 deficiency will also cause sleep apnea. And another big problem that a B1 deficiency can create is a problem with something called the autonomic nervous system. That is the part of the nervous system that is working in the background on automatic that controls a lot of your organs. And if that system becomes dysfunctional, you start getting uh, sweating on the hands, the palms. You might get out of the shower and just break out in a sweat. Um, increased pulse rate. A skin allergy when you scratch your skin and you see that little white uh, welting, like a histamine reaction. That's a B1 deficiency. And ADD, attention deficit disorder. I mean, how many kids that you know have this problem and maybe they haven't had it bad enough to develop all these yet, but they're starting to show signs early. Why? Because vitamin B deficiencies are very, very common, not just with adults, but children as well. So this is how you create a B1 deficiency. Start consuming a lot of refined carbohydrates in the form of bread, pasta, cereal, crackers, biscuits, waffles, pancakes. Start consuming sugar. Start taking diuretics. Alcohol, white rice, flour products. Fructose, like in high fructose corn syrup. Sulfites. Stress will do it. Medication. Gastric bypass. All of these will create a B1 deficiency. And having high blood sugars, being a diabetic, also creates a B1 deficiency. So the need for vitamin B1 goes up considerably. So if I was a diabetic or a pre-diabetic, I would consume more B1 to actually help make up the damage. The best source of B1 is nutritional yeast, not synthetic B1. Get it in a, a whole complex and make sure it's non-fortified because they always add the synthetic vitamins in there. All right, thanks for watching. Hey, thank you so much for watching. Keep spreading the word and share this video.